In this video, we're going to create a very basic part in Turn Mill. So the first thing that we'll do is select File. We're going to create a new part. And when we're prompted, we're going to select the Turn Mill type of part and then click OK. And now we're asked to define the stock properties. And I'm just going to click Finish. Uh, I'm going to leave my length set at 8 and 4 inches outside diameter by default. And then click OK. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a turned feature on the outside diameter of this part. And I'm going to do that by first creating the geometry that will define the edge of that turned feature. So let's create a line using the connected method. And we'll just draw this line down the outside of the part and then have a shoulder and then we'll end the line there. And let's go ahead and put a radius in the corner. And you'll see that what we're going to have is a turned feature with a shoulder and a radius in the corner. Now once we've created the geometry that will define the turned feature, we need to transform it into a curve. And we'll do that using the Open Curve icon and pick the pieces of the curve. And then we'll create it. And it is created as Curve 1. So now we can get into creating our features. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a turn feature from this curve. And then we're also going to create a pocket from a dimension on the face of the part. So to do that, we would do it the same way that we did when we were programming parts in Feature Mill and Feature, uh, and feature Turn. We select on the Features icon. And we're prompted, and it asks, what kind of feature will we like to make? And we want to create First, because we're going to define the turn feature, we're going to create a turning feature. And we're going to create this feature from a curve. And it's going to be from curve one. Again, curve one is highlighted in red. We'll select next. You'll see the wireframe of our curve. Select next again. Go over some of the uh, machining strategies. Get our roughing and our finishing operations. And we can just click finish at this point and then hit OK. Now, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to create another feature. And this time, it's going to be a turn mill feature. And we'll be creating a rectangular pocket from a dimension. And this pocket will be created in the end or the face of the part. And we're just going to make a nice one inch square pocket by about a half of an inch deep. So we'll select Next. Define the length of our pocket will be one inch. The width will also be one inch. Let's go ahead and leave that quarter radius at uh, a quarter of an inch. But we'll increase our depth to a half of an inch. We select Next. And now we'll need to define where the position of the pocket will be. And it's kind of difficult to see in this view. So let's go ahead and change it to the uh, right side view. And when we look at the part from the face, you can see that the pocket, the one inch pocket, is not centered. It's, uh, it's shifted to the upper left hand quadrant. And I'm going to need to correct that by changing the X and the Y location for zero. In this case here, my X, I'm going to shift that to negative 0.5. And I'm going to do the same thing with my Y, negative 0.5. And that should shift my pocket to the center of the part, as you see it, ha it has done. We'll click Next. And look at some of the strategies for machining the pocket. At this point, we can click on Finish. And then click OK. And let's switch the view to isometric. And let's simulate this part. Let's switch the solid view. And simulate. There's our turning operation. Finishing pass. And here's the machining operation for our pocket. Second roughing pass, moving to the finishing, and the part is complete. Mm -hmm. 